as part of your medical treatment today, your doctor has recommended that you undergo a procedure called an arthrocentesis. There are many reasons to perform this procedure, including significant joint swelling, concern for joint fluid infection, or to relieve pain. You may ask your doctor for the specific reason you require an arthrocentesis if you are uncertain. The goal of this procedure is to remove fluid from your joint. A joint is the area where two bones meet, such as your knee, shoulder, wrist, hip, or ankle. In order to collect fluid, a needle will be inserted carefully into your joint. In general, only a small amount of fluid will be removed to collect joint fluid for testing. This is a relatively common procedure, performed approximately 75,000 times per year in the U.S. The results of this test will help the doctor decide how to best treat you further. This procedure will occur in your room and usually takes approximately 30 minutes, including setup. The laboratory testing of the fluid that is collected usually takes approximately two hours. In preparation for the procedure, your doctor will tell you how to position yourself and your joint in order to improve the chance of success for the procedure and minimize pain. It is very important that you do not move abruptly as sudden movement can dislodge or move the needle. Sometimes, the doctor will also use an ultrasound machine to help choose the safest location to insert the needle. After choosing a location, the doctor will wash your skin with a powerful soap. Your doctor may then choose to administer pain medication under the skin in the same location that the needle will enter. Next, a needle will gently be inserted in your joint until fluid can be drawn back. You will feel a prick when the needle is inserted. Some patients may also receive pain medication by mouth before the procedure. As fluid is removed from the joint, some patients feel relief of pressure and pain. The fluid flows slowly through the needle. If your doctor removes a small amount of fluid for testing, this can take up to one minute. The needle may look long, but will be inserted the shortest distance until it can draw back fluid. The most common risks of this procedure are similar to the risks of a needle insertion anywhere else in your body and include pain, bleeding, infection, or hitting nearby structures. Your doctor will review your laboratory results and perform the procedure with sterile equipment to minimize these risks. These risks rarely cause permanent damage. There is also a possibility that the doctor is unable to obtain joint fluid. Small amounts of fluid, obesity, or difficulty holding the correct position are common causes. Very rare, but life-threatening risks of this procedure are serious bleeding or infection. Our doctors strive to always act in the best interest of you, their patient, and would not recommend this procedure if they believe that the risks outweighed the benefits of this procedure. Thank you for listening to this video, and please feel free to replay the video as needed. Your doctor and nurse will be happy to answer any questions you may have.